This is called slow burn. The cracks in the concrete of my apartment complex parking lot are chaotic, but reminiscent. They branch out in every direction, the path unknown to even itself. American spirits burn longer than most cigarettes. A good smoke breaks smoke if you're trying to avoid something, but they're a little harder to light. Good luck if it's windy. The smoke clings to the thin layer of humidity that hangs in the Kentucky air as I exhale. It's still spring though, so the wind quickly moves it along. My neighbor crosses the parking lot to her car and waves. She's no older than 25 and has a small child. They always wave, never speak. Talking is a lost language, but I don't ever break the silence. Don't talk to strangers, my mom always said. Rarely do I make eye contact. Children frighten me. My childhood consisted of being told to go outside because I asked too many questions. I found the answers in dick and fart jokes that my friends told. I never understood the punchlines and had to ask my friend's sister what it meant to pop a cherry. It was embarrassing and enlightening. Naturally, it took me years to understand. Allison sucked my dick to Johnny Cash's Man in Black when we were 19. We fucked a year later. I felt guilty. Then again, I always felt guilt. On my way home the next morning, I saw one of those billboards that said, we need to talk. God, we never did. The ember on the end of my cigarette starts burning close to my fingers, and it reminds me of Florida, the sunshine state, the snowbird state, the most abducted children in the 80s state. Adam Walsh was the son of John Walsh, who started America's Most Wanted because Adam's head was found in a sewage canal 120 miles away from where he was abducted in Florida. Adam went missing 13 days after I was born, not to mention the Walsh family lives less than three hours away from my hometown. Incidents like that concerned my mom when I was young, but I still roamed the black top streets of my neighborhood without a care in the world. My dad's large belt was the only thing that concerned me, as I would get spanked for not telling them where I was going. But how could I tell them when I didn't even know where I was going? I was just going. My cigarette burns out at the butt. I stand alone in the parking lot, contemplating another. The wind tells me otherwise. There's a weed growing out of one of the cracks in the concrete. It's in bloom. It reminds me of that collective soul video where the guy wants to kill himself by jumping off the roof of the building where he works, but he reconsiders when he sees ants crawling on the ledge and a flower growing in the crack of the sidewalk. He must have really just wanted the attention, if that's all it took, for him not to jump.